Hello everyone! This is a bit different video than I normally do in that I'm going to try to do like a behind the scenes, if you will, in the process of making one of the videos, specifically Christ Arose, my most recent a cappella video. And I'm hoping to make this video fast. This is like the, I don't know what take it's been in my testing to try to do this. Um, but I'm hoping to do it fast because I hear supper is ready and I don't want to be too long. So maybe that'll force me to be quick. Anyway, th I'm doing this in answer to the Workman Boys, actually. Matt, Mark, and Luke might be the ones most interested. Um, Mar Mark and Luke were uh, commenting that uh, they were wondering, how do I do the layers, like the four of me? Um, like, can I touch myself when I'm there in the video? So I thought I would open up the song in my program, Adobe Premiere and After Effects, and show you how I roughly lay it out and how I go from there to the effects to uh, get the desired outcome, shall we say. So I'm gonna cut over to my desktop now. And I hope my sound is working fine. My last take, all of a sudden the sound started going really yucky. And I'm very particular about the sound being as good as I can be. When I know it can be better than what all of a sudden happened, it was just weird. It was like all of a sudden the gain went really high, but that blah, blah, I'm wasting time. Now, here is the project. And this is, um, first, first what I do when I'm figuring out a song is I, I just roughly figure out in my head how I want to layer things, how I want to have my, my faces or my whole, uh, body, set up for the shot and I knew in this song that I wanted to have my four four heads set up there just like singing to each other shall we say and then the text appearing and then I'd cut over to a full body shot for each version of me layer of me and what I do first is in Premiere I set up a this is a sequence here I set up a rough sequence where I roughly lay out where the videos I will want them to be and then, and then, uh, so this is like, I'm laying out the whole song I have down here. You can see this is the Christ Arose uh, master audio file. And that way I can line up the video parts exactly how I want it, put where I'll have the fades where I want them. And then I can move on to uh, adding the effects. Now, maybe I'll cut back over here. When I'm preparing for a video like this, um, if you think of the song, the video in Christ Alone Acapella, I used a green screen for that video, but to be totally honest, I have since learned if you know that your background is going to be dark, like just black all behind you, do practical effects, meaning just try to light yourself as direct as you can and make your background as black as possible. If you have a white walled room, it's going to be hard, So, it, but it doesn't have to be black walls just dark walls. Downstairs we have pretty dark brown paneling. And so normally I would try to do that. That way you can just add some contrast. I mean, the other trick is if you know your people, your layers, like for me, my four layers of me, if I know that I'm not going to throw out my hands and cover each layer with each other, like if I'm not in front of another layer, green screen is not needed. It's just have a back, black background behind you. If you have a black drop cloth behind you, that works very well too. Because um, the trick is you can just contrast out the dark behind you and it just becomes pitch black basically. So it's, it's beautiful. It's very practical. When I was preparing for this video though, uh, I was setting the lighting up and really all I ever do is usually just one light, keep things simple, get it the way I want it to look. And the the problem being though, I couldn't make my light not shine on the wall behind me. And I was like, I don't think I can darken that out enough, at least for the way I thought I would have to do the heads at the beginning where they're all four heads set up there or fit of my faces, shall we say, zoomed in. So I was like, ah, I think I better drop uh, my drop, uh, green screen behind me. So that's why I went with the green screen. So now if we go back to the sequence here, you can see I've laid out each of my parts here the way I wanted them. And the next trick is, once I get all the parts the way I like in this sequence, I make a copy, and this is going to be like, shall we say, my master from what I work. And then I take all of these parts and I combine them into what's called an After Effects composition. 
that takes a little bit for the computer to think, but it opens up after Adobe After Effects. And here's the composition for the four heads. Now you can see that I've already done the work of making them look the way I want them to, but I'm going to pick a part to show you what it really originally looks like. If we turn off my effects, and I'm also going to turn off the mask, this is what the original video looked like because my camera was set up this way, right? Very wide. So, but I wasn't worried about, you know, let's go back here as a even better example. Base intro. Here's the, this is what I looked like when I was standing there of, behind the camera or in front of the camera. I wasn't worried about, oh, my laptop's visible. The table's there. Oh no. No, I knew all I wanted was this. So that's fine. What I, what I did then was once I'd figured out, oh, look at this. I really, if I just add a mask, the sh look I was shooting for was like a light, a spotlight was shining on each person. And I was like, well, I can achieve that with just a simple mask. So I created a mask using this mask tool. And I hope I'm not going into great detail in a way that people go, oh, I'm never going to do that. You don't have to tell the whole process. You can jump ahead in each part if you want to. This is going to be as long as it winds up and take it as is. I don't want to do any fancy editing. I just want to get it done. Warts and all, if you will. So here, once I knew, okay, let's say the center of my face right here is where I want. And then I just whoop, press control and shift so that it confines it to being a perfect circle and treats that as the center. And I just made it as big as I wanted. I'll undo that. There's my mask I already had. We'll leave it. And then now we'll make it add this mask. The next trick was I wanted it to have a soft edge and that's where the feather mask feather comes in handy because if I take that off, you can see it looks very sharp and that's not pretty at all. So adding a little feathering softened things up nicely. The next step is, but there's green there. I don't want that. Well, I didn't worry about using a chroma key to remove the green because Number one, it would uh, would have increased my processing time, my rendering time, a lot, incredibly, especially the more layers you have that have to do all of these chroma keys, the longer it takes to process. So I realized, mm, you know, just by the way I layered the videos here, this head here and this head here, and having the masks just overlap each other, like if I go down here, 10 or 2, they don't even touch each other when you see this, like, whoop, I guess it won't show the mask. That one there and that one, they don't quite touch each other. So it's like, oh, I don't even have to chroma key. Instead, what I did was I added a brightness contrast and I made the contrast. I stepped it up quite high to 22. And look, just like magic, zzz, um, like it, 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 how should we say it? It harsh, makes my face contours look a little more pronounced and harsher but it accomplished what I wanted to do. And if you hadn't seen the previous result, you wouldn't know that, you know, what's missing from my face, shall we say. So that was simple there. Now, one next step was going, oh, when I zoom in, uh oh, I see some green fringing from the green screen. And I figured out if I just changed the color of that with this change color filter or effect, zoop, just like that, by desaturating the green, I picked a dark green color to change and then I desaturated it somewhere here there oh sorry saturation transform yeah desaturated and it just removed the green now mind you if you know what it originally looks like you could say oh whoa you removed the natural pink tones in your hair and stuff you know but the objective is getting rid of the green so it doesn't ruin the illusion if it messes with my hair and it's not anything super much to worry about. That's okay. And that's all it really took for all these heads here, the face shots here. Um, and then inside Adobe Premiere, I just added the text here with its own effect. So I like using Premiere for the text work because uh, then I can see the timing for my video, play it along and uh, time the text accordingly. The next parts for, for this, for all the verses, Again, I used the, the trick of 
combining them all as an After Effects composition. So then that's this pink part here. And then over here in that composition, if it will load, it does take some time. Come on, little fella. Okay, there's the final result. And really the process was very similar. If I just pick, let's say the bass part. Um, if we turn off all the effects like this, like I took my time uh, with this one. I just like hand drew the masks so they were close to me. And again, knowing that, hey, I kept my hands in a certain boundary. I didn't go waving way out. I was like, hey, I don't even have to key again. Great. Processing the rendering will will be much faster. So I just create a boundary that way this because once again, if we go over here and you see the original, where is the original? Where is the original? Original. Is there it is. Day? No, 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 no. I'm coming. Sorry. I'm just doing a video. You're so you go ahead, carry down there. Tell mommy I'm almost done. I hope. This is life, folks. You get what you get. Uh, so here's the original. And you can see, again, you might go, mm, what are you doing? You got all this background stuff getting in the way. No, 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 no. I know all I want is about this far and this far. So that's what you focus on. What you're going to, what you're trying to achieve. You, if the outside fringes of your video aren't a problem, great. Then we cut back over here. I masked around it a little closer. And then it was simply a matter of going, well, contrast worked last time. Boom. There goes most of it to black. Check the fringing again with the change color. And I just copied it from the other composition, the other parts. And now the last step with this was going, hey, uh, if I, uh, just as a little aside, a green and a blue screen are the usual colors used to do keying. Uh, because I believe green and blue are the farthest colors in the color spectrum from our skin tone. So when we mask out a green or a blue screen, it doesn't mask us. It doesn't remove our skin or anything you know on our on on us. So of course you have to be careful if you have a green screen and you don't want to key out your shirt. Don't wear a green shirt. But I realized, hey, I can key out the green screen if I want, and I can also key out a blue on my shirt and make it any color I want. So all four of these fellers, if you go back to my copy here, you can see all four of me in this image anytime. Yoo-hoo. Come on, please. There. They're all the same shirt. And I knew I did that intentionally because I knew I could just do a change to color effect, pick the original color, a light part of the shirt, and then pick what I wanted to change it to. Zoom, and we're done. That is one of the handiest little tricks with this software that you can do. And this way you can have any color shirt you want with just one shirt. And really, to be honest, that's about it. Um, they're all, they're all, that's all I did. So I hope that removes some of the mystery of how I um, how I create the desired outcome in these kinds of videos. Um, as I said, I complicated my life a little more than I needed to way back in the In Christ Alone acapella video. At may, using a green screen if I don't have to is pointless. Uh, someday I would like to use a green screen for some kind of cool effect, maybe like a a cartoony look of me, the characters, or whoever, maybe the kids will want to do some uh, play or something someday we can think of, some Bible characters or something, maybe like David and Goliath we could do, and we could even have like painted scenes to work against. That's where it could come in very handy. But my suggestion, and this, take, take this for what it's worth, this isn't really, Workman guys, this wasn't really what you asked about too, but if you ever thought of doing something like this, my Simple suggestion is if you can do effects practically, meaning you don't have to do digital effects, like taking out stuff with the computer, go that way. I've seen another fella uh, do acapella Christian songs 
And uh, I'm not sure where he's from. If he's from Africa somewhere or Jamaica, I'm not sure. Um, but he he de he he does it very practically, like I I do it there, like where I try to just space myself out in a video, and you don't have to do green screen work. Like he'll just sit himself on couches around in his living room, and so all he has to do is set up his camera in one place, then he sits himself down for a base the base part. Moves over, sings this tenor part, and then sings the other tenor part, and sings the uh, you know baritone part. He, that's just the way he did it, and it's great. All you have to do is take all the clips and crop them, you know, in the right boundary with each other. No special fancy effects. What I'm really impress, impressed when he does it is the trick I find when you're dealing with natural lighting, like he often is in his videos, is how. The sky, like your lighting source, if, if it's an uncloudy day, great. But you have to be quick about recording because the lighting will change depending on where the sun is in the sky, right? If it's a cloudy day, you're toast because the lighting is going to be all over the place as it gets cloudy sometimes from covering the sun and then comes out again. So, But it's really a simple effect. If you don't have to do fancy editing with chroma key and stuff, don't do it. Just try to figure out how to place your characters and you're good to go. Actually, on that subject, um, I'll bet Angela could show you an old picture, or if she hasn't, of her and Amber, where they're layered multiple times in the same picture. And it's probably all they did. They just copied and, you know, they shot the same spot. They just moved into different poses for the picture. And so... Yeah, it's not super fancy, but it gets the job done. And so I hope that answered any questions you might have had about wondering how I how I do that sort of trick for those acapella song videos or any song video. The process worked the same for like um, Chariots of Fire, uh, that song, um, anything where I'm layered. Uh, it's really come in handy once I learned that most of the time if I have a dark background, I don't need anything special for effects. I just need to light myself properly, try to keep my background dark, and I'm good to go. Someday I wouldn't mind doing another video. Like I realize this software I'm using isn't the cheapest in the world. And so you guys, if you were thinking about how can we do this? I'd love to do another video or maybe series of videos where it's like I try using the cheapest software I can and see if it does what I want to for a video or I just try using just an iPad or an iPhone. Can I do the whole project with that? I would love to do that just to show if you think the technology is your limit. That may not be the case. Um, because, of course, if you're going to be a singer, you got to be able to sing. Um, not always the case. Someone like, if you look up Mystery Guitar Man, he's not really a guitar player, a uh, fancy musician, I don't think. But he edited it all together to make music in a fun way. So he's more a musician with the technology, with his computers. But I I am getting totally sidetracked, guys. I hope that was good for you all, you workman fellas. Hope you enjoyed that. If it was too long and boring, my apologies, but I thought I would try to answer your questions this way. And anyone else out there who's watching, I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope it was informative, and I'm going to get going down to supper. Take care, everyone. Hopefully see you soon again in another video. Till next time, bye-bye.